Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to add two vectors. And I'm going to show you two ways one graphically and one algebraically. So let's first take a look to the graphical way of adding vectors. So the vector u is negative 1 and 3, so go 1 left, 3 up. This is the vector u. Vector v is 2 and 4, 2 right, 4 up, and that's it. This is the vector v. How are we going to add this graphically? We're going to draw a parallelogram. So we're going to try to draw um, parallel lines to vector u. So we're looking here on the 1, 3, with something like that. You can use the slope here as an idea. So you see this guy, or I should use the blue. This line here is uh, parallel lines of vector uh, u. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a parallel line to vector v, and that will be something like this. You may want to use a ruler or the concept of slope. And if you notice, they have an intersection point. This guy here is u plus v, okay, which is uh, 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 4, 6. I think I miss it, which is, which is good, right? I think I'm going to put here a question mark, okay? Why? Because this is a graphical way. Yeah, and I miss it here, which can bring problems, okay? So let me show you now the algebraic way. I want you to take a look. It's nothing else than add the component. So if we have u, which is negative 1 and 3, v, which is 2 and 4, u plus v will be nothing else than negative 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4. So u plus v is nothing else and then 1, right, negative 1 plus 2, 1, 3 plus 4, 7, and that's it. So you see now, yeah, there is a mistake here, okay? You, if you want to use this parallelogram method, uh, you need to be careful and have the right tool, okay? If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Squared for more help. Thank you.